Uh, my name is Mr. Suda. Uh, I work actually for a company named Grasshopper. Uh, and thankfully, I got uh, a request from uh, Capcom's R&D4 to uh, make a game. That game is Killer7. Uh, actually, my company's full name is Grasshopper Manufacturer. And we're really a small development house. You're looking at about 20 different people on our staff, which uh, comparatively is not very large for a video game. Um, and we're actually working really hard on uh, Killer7. Uh, actually, uh, we know Capcom is very famous for action games and adventure games, but uh, this game that we're making, this Killer7, is really kind of different from your typical action adventure game. Um, Grasshopper Manufacturer, the company I worked for, we, we focus a lot on story, on games that are really full of story and have a really deep uh, scenario, so to speak. And uh, up until now, we've made games that probably only the Japanese public would really understand and appreciate. So uh, we decided to, for once, try uh, to make a game that Americans would appreciate and like, um, as well as Europeans. Uh, but of course, it will still have our characteristic of a game that's got a really deep and fascinating story. That's actually a really good question. Um, it's really hard to put this game into a, a genre because there's really not been anything like it uh, in America or in Europe right now. Um, they're called story adventures in Japan. Now, I know that probably gives people the wrong idea that there's, in fact, no action. But we, we figure that uh, in the video game industry, you're seeing more and more action simplicity. You're not getting much story. So we were going to focus a lot on story. Uh, thankfully, uh, Shinji Mikami, uh, the creator of Resident Evil, who is the producer of this game, came up to me and said, we want you to make a game <clears throat> that, that is really based on story. We want it to be kind of a story adventure, so to speak. And we want you to make it like you've always made games, because uh, I'm kind of known in Japan for my unique stories and the complexity, that which moves the uh, game along. So uh, he came up to me and said, you make it however you want to make it, but let's just try to uh, translate it right, um, make it appeal to American audiences. Um, actually, and this may seem hard to follow, but like I said, I like interesting stories. Uh, the main character, or actually I should say characters, are multiple personalities. That's where the seven from Killer7 comes from. Now, we don't like using the word multiple personality because that sounds like it's one person who has uh, seven different personalities in their mind. This person has a special ability where they are one person, but they can actually transform, change, even how the way they look when they turn into this other personality. Each one of these personalities has their own ability as well as their own weapons, etc., that they're good with. You have some that are good with just a small handgun, uh, others that uh, use a sniper rifle, and then yet even others that use two guns blasting away at the same time. Uh, these uh, seven people, yet one single person, uh, I should say, this Killer7, uh, they actually battle against an evil uh, person named Kundan. He will be the enemy of the game. And this Kundan has the ability to make people follow him uh, obediently, do almost whatever he wants to, to the point where they lose their free will. So far to the point that he is compared to a god almost in terms. So you, as the main hero who must stop this Kundan, who is referred to as a god, in a way, is, are a god killer, so to speak. Um, actually, <clears throat> this game is going to be broken down into chapters, so to speak. Um, there's going to be six major chapters in the game. Of course, as you clear one chapter, you'll move on. So uh, it's kind of like a book, so to speak, if you will. Like I said, story is very important for the game. Um, I can't give away too much information right now, but I will tell you that one of the chapters takes place inside a, an old Japanese hotel uh, inside the city of Hakone. Hakone is actually a city in uh, Shizuoka Prefecture in Japan. It's sort of like Miami, if you're going to compare it to a location in America. I can't say for sure. That's something only the uh, staff at Capcom USA can decide. But uh, if I could have my way, I'd like to have it out sometime by uh, spring of 2004. But, uh, <laughs> however, 
However, I really am a perfectionist and I have to get that story down and I want to make it the best damn game that I can. So uh, maybe the weather will be a little bit warmer out by the time the game makes its official release. <laughs>